Hi, Fred here from teachingbytes.com. All right, guys, so on this episode, I'm going to show you how to upload your pages file into a Google, your Google Drive and into a format that's editable. Okay? Now, just to let you know, Apple's Pages app can be definitely stored into Google Drive. However, it does not recognize the file itself so it can be worked on on Google Drive. So what I'm going to do here in my Pages app, I'm going to open up a document and then I'm going to upload it to Google Drive as a Microsoft Word document. Okay, kind of weird, but bear with me. All right, so I have my Pages app here and Pages is free for any iPad that you bought, I think after 2013. So I'm going to use the modern report template here tap on that and if you have students this is how it can be done to save your google drive i'm going to go ahead and tap on the share button that's a little square with the up arrow tap on that send a copy i need to choose that tap on that and i have to choose a different format now like i said you can store Pages apps, uh, pages files into Google Drive, but they are not editable. I could definitely send it as a PDF, a Word document, which is we, we, what we want. And the EPUB is really for publishing uh, like an ebook. All right. And that's something I can show you in the future. So we're going to go ahead and choose the Word option. It's converting it. It's going to send it now to, we have to choose, make sure that we send it to Google Drive right here send to now by default it's going to go to the iCloud and I don't want to do that I make sure I change the locations tap on locations and choose Google Drive however this may not be activated when you first uh, started so you tap on the three dots for more and then you ha you'll have your options here all right you have your Google Drive and your Dropbox if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and untap that, go back to my locations, send to my Google Drive, and you can choose your account. All right. So in this case, I'm going to use my first account, and I can find a folder and put it into the folder, or I can save it here as a floating document, not in a folder. Okay, I can change the list view if I wanted to, or go back to the grid view. And I can search for particular folders if I need to. Okay, and that's it. All right, guys, hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions, and see you soon.